Chew quickly. Drink that milk. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 830 Mountain Time, and we show you our haul. We tell you what we paid and what we're going to sell it for. And if you want to shop along, Caitlin is on here tonight, and she'll be dropping links. Sorry, am I blocking that? She'll be dropping links. And you can also just go to jamierayvintage.com and click Saturday Thrift Haul. And you'll find not only these items, but any items from previous hauls that haven't sold. Just um, search in there and they're going to be available. So Lots of good stuff in there. So much good stuff. Sometimes I look through, I'm like, oh, that hasn't sold yet? It's like people forgot about it. It got lost in there. And I, I apologize for my half a bite. I was eating these little like oatmeal bites. And I underestimated how much it was, like, how long it was going to take to chew. It was a chew. lot of chewing. There was a lot of chewing involved. All right. Well, while she's finishing her milk, I'm going to show you some equestrian bookends that I really like. I think they're, uh, they're poured resin, um, two of them. They were $5.99 at the Savers. We're selling them for $22.95. That may include painting. I don't know. Sometimes yeah, Jamie getting... likes stuff, and then sometimes she doesn't. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to gauge because lately she's been like, yeah, let's paint that. Or, no, I think I'm going to leave that natural. Like, I'm trying right, new know. things. I'm trying new know. things. So here, I'll take the rubber band so off. Those so those are going to get painted. They were, they're very Kentucky Derby, which the Kentucky Derby just happened. It's big. And it yeah. got, and there was a huge upset on it, too. If oh, you really? follow horses, I don't... 80 to 1 odds on the horse that just won. Dang, we should have bet. It we had could've... never won a major race or even been in one. We could have used that money for the church renovation. I... Instead, we'll have to sell junk. Yeah. It'll happen. All right, guys. Um, yeah, so we are going to paint those. They're going to be so cute when they're done. I don't think you can really see the detail on that, but once we paint them and put a wax on them, yeah. they're going to be awesome. Um, show the small tin picture. Jane just bought it. The, this one. No, the small one. Oh, it's over there in front of the you. The little paper. I'll hold it. Close. So it looks like brass, but I, I put that it was tin because I don't think it's brass. It's good tin. It's brassy tin. It's it's a brassy tin. Um, it was a dollar. Um, like at the store. Is that what it says? It says a dollar on the side. I feel like this camera's really far away tonight. Can mm -hmm. you read the price tag? Uh, yeah, it was a dollar. So savers, we spent $70 of savers last week, and we got like half a cart. Jamie spent $70 at the DI and filled the cart up. Seb, we must be missing a bag because where is your chicken? Um, I didn't actually end up getting the chicken because they didn't give me a good deal on the chip. Oh, I would have bought it. No, Everybody good. wanted that chicken. So it was 10 bucks, and I was like, I'm not doing oh, it with $10? The, yeah, I'm not doing it with the chip, oh, no. so I put it back on the shelf. Oh, okay, good. All right, well, the chicken's not <laughs> here. Um, this was a dollar, and we're selling it for nine ninety five. Yeah, guys, the chicken didn't make the cut. I was going to get it on the premise that, you know, it had a big chip in it, and I was going to ask them if they could do any better than 10 bucks, and they were like, nope. <laughs> Stinky. All right, so we did get a new channel member, Linda Smith. Welcome. Linda, um, we go live twice a month with extra lives for channel members. So we do lots of experimenting and sometimes two part live streams so that we can finish a project from start to finish while we're chatting with you about what we're doing. We alternate every other week. It'll always be we have now put our channel, our business coaching lives at 1 30. So now channel membership lives will always be at 10 a.m. They're every other Tuesday. So they're not this Tuesday, but the next Tuesday we'll have it. We will announce it in community for channel members to see, just so you can see that. And if you're on Facebook, we have subscribers, and that's how you get the extra lives and printables. So now that you're a channel member, Linda, make sure to scroll back through community, and you should be able to find last month's printable with the website and password. All right, so this corbel is good. It's it's resin. So this corbel it's got two good. hanging. I had to jump right back in. Sorry, you, you did your infomercial, and now My... we got to get back to the thrift hall. Infomercial. Your your brand deal is over. <laughs> I had to tell her. I wanted to make sure she knew. All I'm, right. I'm blown away by this because it's resin and it looks like wood. It did a really good job. Um, it's got hanging on it, like uh, like holes to hang, but I would probably just use it as like architectural detail piece on a shelf or something. Marty since bought we it. don't have to. Marty, Marty, I'm so sad about your urn. That we can't even talk about it. it. I saw Caitlin send us a picture of what happened. Usually she doesn't send us stuff, but... 
I don't know what happened at that. It looked like the box so got Marnie ran got over with the truck. It was five ninety nine, and we're selling for nineteen ninety five as is. And she also got the fairy. So that fairy is going to be boxed up like no fairy has ever been boxed up before because it is making it to Marty. Yeah. I'll be at Marty has purchased so that quite big a few urn things that, that I painted. It. Oh, I don't know how was it? Was it wasn't the waste not Wednesday? It was, no, it was an edited video. Yeah, that big urn that I painted was shipped Here. it, and the whole bottom, the base of it, just crushed off of it. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna paint more stuff and not cry over the spilled milk. That's all right. We're gonna paint this awesome for you, Marty. It's gonna be so cute. I actually want to paint it kind of like simple but then do the flowers in different colors i i don't know that was kind of my thought so that well, was I think that could eight dollars really and we're selling for 49.95 it's really cute but it needs a paint job it's like a basic it's it's like raw resin something yeah. casting yeah we're gonna paint it cute um let's see what do we got next what do we got what do we got i have another picture okay and it's got so, just this one loan. I don't think that goes. It's, it's probably missing some pieces. It's probably a coffee pot, but I just put that it was a pitcher. It was $5.99, and we're selling it for $29.95. Stainless steel, I think. I'm going to paint it and try to make it look like enamel. We've been painting we metal with the cottage colors, and they're turning out really good because it's self-leveling. And we, we're getting fun enamel two-tone looks. Like if we paint this and paint the rim like black or like a – gray. We don't have black. We only have five colors. Yeah, I forget. We're working on that. Um, but I think it would be really good. Yeah, that one is going to be $29.95. And I might put a stencil on it, or we might just keep it a plain, simple enamel look. This was $5.99 from the Savers. In contrast, had we found it at the DI, it probably would have been a dollar. Savers is so expensive. But sometimes but you just have, have to. They have really good stuff at the savers sometimes. So we can't pass it up. I mean, as long as you can make a profit, it's worth it. But it does make me a little sad that they're so, so expensive. when you're out thrifting, just keep that in mind. If you're buying a lot of things, you got to keep the average cost of each piece in mind because that's going to be like what you base it off. A little business 101 for you, thrifting 101. So Susan bought this one, and we are going to paint the handles on this one. So the races or the bearings are out of this, and I think the wood has swollen. I don't – I kind of like the look because it's still – you can actually see the metal, but just know that I don't think I'm going to be able to fix the races on here without really taking what? the thing fix apart. What? The bearings are popped out of the wood. Oh. But I thought that was cool. It's because the wood has swollen some. <laughs> It was cool. I didn't Someone think. probably dishwashered this. Well, it's gonna be super cute. We're gonna paint the handles for it. It was three forty nine, and we're gonna sell it for ten. There's nothing wrong with it. It still works. It's a really good functional rolling pin. It just, you know, the, the builder in me, I'm like, oh, I don't think I could fix that. <laughs> I would have never even thought about that. Handles getting painted. All right, so show them the other one. So this one was three forty nine at Savers. That was a dollar. This one was a dollar at the DI. Similar similar situation, but will work great and be very functional if you need it to oh, be a rolling pin. Um, Carol got some of the lab paint in, in the mustard, and she said it turned out super cute. I love that, Carol. Nice. So that one, we're not painting it. I really like the wood. This paint one does have a good wood grain. It almost looks like, I almost want to say this is like an olive type wood. Yeah. Very common to do rolling pins in olive wood. So one's getting painted and one is not. Let's see. Oh, um, Cindy bought this barnwood frame. So if you guys are interested in anything you see, make sure you're checking out the website. You don't necessarily want to wait for Caitlin to drop links because things sell pretty fast. We've been doing, we've done like, I don't know what, how many of these? Over three years. Over three years we've been doing this. Uh, without, I think we've missed like two videos in three years when one fell on Christmas, one Saturday fell on Christmas, and then we were in England, in England and we didn't do it. All right, so show them this. So this was eight dollars. So that's like one hundred and fifty-six videos, fifty-four. Yep, <laughs> and it sold for twenty-four ninety-five. It's just a barnwood frame. We got it for seven ninety-nine. It was at the Savers for seven ninety-nine. It was at a yard sale for eight dollars, and then it was at the DI for eight dollars. So everybody must have been like, "Yeah, we're going with that eight dollars yard sale price." <laughs> All the <laughs> stickers are on the back. We're selling for twenty-four ninety-five, and it's really cute. Okay, I can't help you. Sorry. Okay, my dad's watching us, and he had a different live video on, so my mom had to come let <laughs> me know that. She's just letting us know. Oh, that's funny though that he's watching oh, thanks, an old live Kai. stream. 
She says, um, all your painting projects this week have been great. Les said we should speckle the um, picture. Oh. You can try. Just get a brush and I can put you brush. in charge. I'll, I'll see. I'll see what I can do. We'll experiment with it, Les. All right. This is a really big hermetic jar. Um, I'm, it's from Italy. I can't read that. But I just love that it's like a huge like pickle jar with a hermetic lid. How's the number five on the bottom? But you don't think that's five liters, do you? Probably because that's because that's a three liter jar. Right so there. here's the thing. A, two oh, liters my, yeah, is a little liters. bit less than half a gallon. So that would actually work out if this was close to one gallon, five liters. Yeah, because this is three liters. Yeah. Oh, there's a sticker. that says five liters. So it is five liters. That's huge. Yeah. Cause this is my sourdough starter and yes i have a giant jar of it because sometimes i make pancakes and it like i used four we've cups. basically been eating pancakes every day because every day jamie comes down here and she's like it's growing so much it's gonna overflow we don't eat pancakes every day we've had them twice this week like four times in the You're last a drama queen. in the last seven days i've only ever made them twice i'm not complaining i like the pancakes but i've only made them twice <laughs> i'm just saying are you sure Yes, I'm sure. Well, I think I think also the the waffles with Mother's Day. You know, all the breakfast foods have been happening. Oh, Lisa bought that. She also bought the three. Lisa, this is good. You bought a good one. Five liters. Can you get the three little tea yes. cups there? Those are super cute. They say England on the bottom. I don't know if you could tell that from the picture, um, but they do say England. Oh, They're stamped. stamped in there. And then she also got oh, the crazing. Did you get the crazing on there? Yeah, I don't know if the if it picked up all the good crazing. They're I'm gonna bring so it close. Cute. There's boats on this. You love the giant finio. We'll show this in a minute, Kai. Hey, Cindy. Happy birthday to Karina. And let's see. It's like a whole harbor scene going on there. Oh, the English guy that paints furniture on YouTube fly specs his finishes. I like it. Yeah, no, I loved these um, little tea glasses. They were $5.99. For three of them, and I pay, and I'm selling for sixteen ninety five for all three. And then the candlestick is just a really good wood candlestick. We paid five bucks for it, which was kind of a lot for the size, but I knew I wasn't going to paint it, um, and we sold it for twelve ninety five. So I'm willing to just like double my money or whatever if I'm not having to put a ton of effort into something. It's got a um, nice felt really bottom on it too. Won't scratch your stuff. Kathy says, "How do I do my hair on the top of my head like this? It is." Um, this is end of day messy bun. If there's time, if there's time, I will show you how to do my hair at the end of this video. It's not going to be that exciting, but we'll do it. All Remind right. me. I'll hold, Don't I'll, forget. I'll try to remember. Okay. I was going to say I'll hold you to it, but then I'm like, no, it's late. I might not remember. <laughs> I tried to put that sticker back on the back of it. <laughs> Look at Jamie. Jamie's like, this is how we're going to remember what price this was. That thing is not. There's nothing legible on that little two specks of white sticker. It was a dollar. It was a dollar. Fifty, I think a dollar fifty. We're selling it for sixteen ninety five. Are we painting this? Does it come um, with yeah, the floral? Yeah, it does come with the floral. It's got dragonflies. We are going to paint pressed it. Pressed into the tin. It'll be super simple to paint it. I'm just going to paint the front, not the back, because it hangs on the wall. And we'll just do the single step paint, and now, then we'll do some dark and decrepit. Paint the back because it's going to hang on the wall. Why would I? Because that's a waste of paint. Also, because it would scrape off if it swings oh. or whatever, it would scrape paint. Possibly, paint you would transfer. get transfer. Yeah, I will paint the bottom. Everybody always wants to know why we don't paint the back. I will paint the bottom because you can. Well, see when that. you're scuffing a 200-pound dresser up against the wall, it's gonna leave a mark. Oh, Kai says that that boat scene is like the brown transfer oil platter that she, that we got in England that she bought from us. That's on our kitchen. Oh, nice. I love it. That one's it's it's a good transfer. I like it. All right. All right, here is the big finial. It's got like a little clamshell detail down here. I don't know if the camera will focus for you. There it goes. I That detail, remember when we used to make molds? We had that. We had one similar yeah, to like that. that. Yeah. Um, this one's really cool. It needs a paint job. We paid $6 for it. It didn't have a sticker, but that's how much, they, and how much they gave it to us for. How much are we selling it for? Mm, oh, $28.95. That's a good deal. It's got like a cabbage leaf here. Yeah. I think just probably a stone finish. So, so like weathered wood and white wax. That'll be good. All right. Let's show them what my mama bought. Oh, Jamie's mom went thrifting with her yesterday. What it was yesterday? Mm -hmm. Seems like a week ago. We were, so we have a chiropractic uh, 
plan. Plan. And on that plan, you get one massage a month. And I'm really bad about going, but one my massage and two adjustments, right? Four adjustments. Four adjustments. Yeah, because two been, for you, two for me. We haven't been going. No, enough. two for you, two for me. So go every other week. Anyways, <laughs> my mom signed up for the plan and I want her to be able to use it. So we've had massages scheduled with it and I took her thrifting with me. It's a really good deal. Like the plan is what one massage would cost, and then you get four adjustments as well. All right. So she got this. It's crystal. It's got, I would say, almost like a Christmassy scene. These look like evergreens with a star on the top. Mm -hmm. But she loved it and wanted to buy it. And it was a dollar. So it came home. And it's actually, did you look that up? Uh, it's 1995. No. Nope. Or did I write a one I on think, there on accident? Yeah. This is supposed to be 995. How much is it? Um, hold on. Let's see who's right. Because I wrote 1995, which. No, 1995. Yeah, well, that's it's a, good. That's it's a, good no, it should be twelve ninety five. Okay, I I'm feel switching better. the price. I feel better about that. I feel like Sorry, for a small crystal, nineteen ninety. No, that's that's kind of themed. Twelve ninety five. Yeah, it just got discounted. You just so got think, instant discount. I think that I meant to put twelve ninety five, and I put the wrong price. All right, I wrote down the right price. All right, we're good. We're good. We've been we've amended it. Tell me okay. about this Koch stoneware microwave oven dishwasher safe made in Portugal. I just liked it because of the color, and I think it would be perfect for queso. Oh, are we selling it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are selling it. It's on the website. But can we can we it's test 90. it out and then watch? <laughs> I'll make you some queso and something else. But I'm always looking for things that you can make queso in that you can like bake and throw in the oven. Anyways, uh, stone. It's not picking up the Is speckle. the dog outside? I think Cody is outside. Why? There's a horse back there now, and he, th he every time he sees that horse, he lets it know that he's in this yard. Cody, come here. Let's see if we can pick come up. Come inside. There we go. Rex what? is out there too. Come here. He's Where's in between Rex? his tubs. Come on. We have he two won't tubs come. that we plant in, and they're pretty close. And Rex likes to get in between them and poke his head out and look at everybody. Cody's not coming. No, All he's right. he's got an agenda right now. You're not going to get him in here unless you tempt him with a treat. So nine ninety five on this. Jamie paid a dollar. Oh, he came. Oh, he finally decided to come. Yeah, it's perfect size for queso. Cody, come on. Come on, buddy. I'll just leave Rex out there. He's just eyeballing me. He's stinky boy. He's like, I came. Where's my treat? Don't say the T word unless you're prepared to. I deliver. already gave him a treat earlier. He's had his allotment of treats today. All right. All right. This was a dollar at a yard a sale dollar. and then a dollar at the di it's the whole thing is metal pressed tin it's gonna be so great painted once we paint it all that detail will pick up and pop so good it's gonna be 26.95 after we paint it did it snow no it's it was 80 degrees today oh man but let's see tuesday Are it was 34 my degrees lick my mic. at night it almost it was snow warning and then they changed it to rain at $26.95 for that painted. Those metal shelves always paint up really easy. So if you find them thrifting, definitely pick them up because they're an easy flip that looks amazing. All right, I fixed it. I almost missed that, but my friend Heather picked it up at the thrift store and she said she wasn't buying it. So I picked it up because I love things that Why you can- Why wasn't she buying it if she had it? She just picked it up because she liked it and she's like, I have nowhere to put it. I'm like, well, I'll take it. <laughs> so it was a dollar and we're selling it for $14.95. And I think it would be so cute planted in. Yeah, I stay if you good. look at the picture on the website, you can see floral in it. You staged it with some floral. And we don't, I don't think we need to paint this. It's a good gray. No, it's not getting painted. Let's see. Cody is so cute. Thanks, Marty. He's hard to see. He's so his coat is so black and dark. Listen, he uh have he you, been his, you can't even see his eyes good. There he is. I'm tired. He likes to sit like this, like a human. He's a weird dog. And he holds on to you with his paws. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't let me go ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, this doesn't have a price on it. Oh, yeah, it does. It was $2. It's like a really great minty. It's been Did you dropped. not put the price that? I have it. Oh. It's been dropped. Looks like a time or two, but now you've got good dark chips coming through that. Yeah, it's a good one. And this is $14.95. I would keep eggs in the counter on this, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's cute. I uh, was just reading, you can use it to shape your sourdough. So you put a flour sack cloth with flour on it, and you can use it to help shape your I still have yet to make a successful sourdough, but I'm not going to give up. 
it's always tastes good, but it's I only made, this thick. I made good um, regular bread. You know what it would probably be good in is like a bread pudding. Um, bread Kelly, I didn't it. see your question. Try asking it again. Sorry, sometimes I well, sometimes I'm paying How attention. How many people to are watching right now? Um, 846. Yeah, so it's, it's it gets well, tough. it's because people are on Facebook and YouTube, so it gets a lot of questions, but yeah. you can ask it again. So, this is from the reel, and I did get this one and bring it home. It was six dollars and 99 cents. Um, although I didn't see this in the thrift hall, I don't know if this made it. I didn't get a price on this. Oh, yeah, I did 16.95. There it is. Found Deborah it. bought my mom's dish. Oh, nice, it's a good little dish. But I don't know. It probably had something that slid up in here. There's a slot. I'm just going to paint the whole thing, but it is dished out. I think it would be great for like holding rings or whatever next to That's a... That's the one uh, you bought where I said I was going to pull your man card. Yeah, you know, that is the one. <laughs> I still cute. have it though. I built It'll a, be cute I painted. built a wall today, so um, I still have my card. Cindy from California, she she used to be Vintage Sin, but I think she changed her name. Yeah. She bought your um, the stoneware dish, so oh, she nice. can make queso in it. All right, Cindy. Send me a picture on Instagram. Oh, I would love it if you sent there. a picture with some queso in it. I will live vicariously through you. All right. This is going to get painted up, I think, similar with the fairy. Mm -hmm. Do simple paint job. Maybe paint the bows. There's some flowers in the girl's hair. Um, <clears throat> maybe paint a little bit of the fringe on the dress. And then just leave the rest of it kind of like a base color. But it's it's sixteen ninety five. Can you guys hear him breathing on the mic? He's asleep. Um, she, Kelly's question was, and I, sorry, I did see your question, but then Zeb was talking and I'm trying really hard not to interrupt him. Um, <laughs> she wanted to know if you could put IOD transfers or stencil on resin. Yeah. Yes to both. Yeah. Just make sure it's clean and then you can put it on there. And then if it's something that you want to wash or you're worried about durability, Are you talking like a resin a countertop coat. or something like that. I don't, I'm thinking like resin, uh, decor but yeah i don't oh, see why man. not i put it on just about everything um the th big thing is don't use any harsh chemicals on it don't put it in direct sunlight they're not made to go outside did i forget anything oh I and don't put it. it on anything like this dusty or super chalky so if your paint's super chalky you gotta seal it but i don't know why you couldn't put it on resin. you know we still have quite a few more items yeah we i told you it was a small item haul like it didn't feel like we had a lot up here because usually like the whole island is like but they were all just little items which the shipping staff will tell me thank you yes there is one thing that they're going to be like really jamie really it's it's large you but only minute. the bottom part is breakable these bunt pans are the perfect blue and white and together i think even if you're not going to use them to bake in hang in on the wall would be very super French, good. the blue and the white together, or you just hang them in your kitchen. You don't have to ever use them. They just look like you're good at baking things and you leave them there. So you can't hang them with a nail at the top because they do just slide off. You center. do the nail in the center and that is how you hang these. It holds them super good. I paid a dollar each for these and I'm selling the set for $19.95. And if you found a red one, then you could do like an Americana oh, July 4th thing. I've seen a lot of red ones. We actually, I know. That's what I was thinking. Red is usually pretty common and easy to find. So the blue and the white, you pick that up and then you find a red one while you're out junking. We actually have a really cute red, white, and blue corner in the shop. Is it already set up? Yeah, I didn't do it. I asked for pictures today. I'm going to share them in stories. I was like, can you shoot some pictures in the shop? Because Jenny's been doing a really good job. But there is the cutest little Americana corner in the shop. She used our blue enamel wear. And we have those tea stained um, American flags. And she made a cute little corner. So I don't know if this is a, supposed to be a birdhouse or it's just like a fun little shelf. It was $5. It's made out of like cedar. It's got some fun detail over here on the side. So it actually came Focus. with a drawer, but it was missing a drawer. So I pulled the single drawer out and I'm selling that separately because it looks stupid <laughs> to just have one, but it looks fine to have both sides open because you could put like a little jar or little flowers or something, or just leave it the way it is. But I think it'd be really cute staged, but it looked really weird with just one drawer in and one drawer out. We'll show you the drawer. So just this house is $22.95 and it was five bucks. Uh, yeah. The drawer is actually really cool. It's sad that there aren't both. And it's super cute on its own. I would put like some ferns in the drawer, just That's decorate with it. Like I said, it looked weird to just have one in there because the other one was missing. And how much is that drawer? Three ninety five. Um, four ninety five. Four ninety five. And it's just a cute little birdhouse drawer. 
it has like little scrolly detail up here on the list. Oh, Michelle got the house. Michelle, what are you going to put in the two open cubbies? I actually like it without the drawers in there because I loved it. Little places to put things like this. This one of these would fit perfectly on each side. So show them this. Um, oh, this is an insulator. insulator. The Heming, so, Heming Gray, you had it in there, Heming Way. Oh. Heming Gray 3547 insulator. I love insulators. My grandpa, was, he worked for the... Uh, the phone company for a long time um and then uh, he had a ton of insulators and the wooden pegs that screw into them um down in the base and we used to play with them and make little forts and do all kinds of stuff when i was a kid but we picked this up for 5.99 i believe and we're selling it for 9.95 yep so we did save 20 percent because we did have a coupon but yeah this is the G O oh, C S C is what it says on the back. And it's the 35. It's probably worth like a million dollars, but they're, the they're usually online. If you find one in really good shape, some insulators will run up to like 20, 25 bucks. But that one, I think you're fine. at 10 Michelle bucks. says she doesn't know what she's going to do with the house, but she bought it and she's going to decorate Sometimes it. you just see things and you got it. They speak to you and you don't know what you're going to do with them yet, but you have to have them. I get that. Yeah. I love the house too. And here's a funny story about it. It was in somebody else's cart. <laughs> And I could tell she was waffling. So I politely was one row over watching her out of my side eye. And then I saw her put it back. And then I swooped around the corner and picked up that, ho that house. Do you want to go lay down? Sorry. I've been yelling in your ear. Go lay down. He's like, what? He's thinking Don't about put me it. Down. He's got a stretch for you. But so it, it almost didn't happen, but it must have been meant to be to go to your house. So this is a napkin holder and it's ceramic. I've never seen one like that before. And it's painted up really good. It's like a very vintagey vibe, and it says napkins on the inside in case you didn't know. But you could also put your mail in it. I think it says napkins because you can only see that if you run out. So yeah, like, if you hey, put yeah. fill this up. <laughs> yeah, if you put your napkins in, you can't see where it says napkins. But I just love the vintage. It's very cottage core. It's it's showing up okay. Hey Diane, late by here. So how much was that? Uh, 75 cents. Uh, 75 cents, and I don't. Oh, 12.95. 12.95. Yeah, I saw them actually. $20 and up for that style. This is from the DI, if you didn't know. We've got a DI close to us we here in Lehigh that's getting ready to open. Show them this. This one is cute. Why there we go. There? That focused. I love it when they write them? the measurements on the inside. My that's mom my said the same thing when we were thrifting. So I like it also because it's two, um, four cups. So it's, Oh, yeah. You could double recipes all day quart. long. It's like thing. a really good size, and it's cute enough for decor so like you can use it it's also decor you could plant in this it's big yeah. enough hmm. i should not be yawning how much is that one oh <laughs> yeah that's what we do here 14.95 14 14 i don't know oh it was two dollars we're selling it for 14.95 bb says what is the di it's deseret industries it's our one of our church thrift stores here in utah they do have them um nationwide they're just really prevalent here in utah because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it's their thrift store, and about 50% of the state belongs to that church, so they're everywhere here. They have them in other states, but they're You're everywhere. You're going to find here. them mostly in, like, California, Arizona. West Coast. Yeah, West Coast places. I think there's one in Houston now. They've been branching out. So Yeah. yeah. Susan had a, she said that we should take my parents with us on Tuesday. There's a 30% senior discount. I actually did know that. Uh-huh. Your dad loves to tag well, I along. could buy him lunch, and he would come for the discount. You could probably get him out there without lunch, too. But he... He does expect lunch. He does, he, or a soda, at least. Yeah, he should not have soda. He should not be drinking soda. All right, let's show him this. This is this was two ninety nine at the Savers. It's got a little brass... Uh, is that brass? Yeah, I think it's brass. Tin or brass bottom. And then... It's tarnished. It's, it's been silver plated. Yeah, it's twelve ninety five. Focus for me. All right, I gotta. I'm just gonna live on the front. This is all we have small so stuff many we're showing. Small items today. That would be a good spot. I'll push it here. That way you can show. I'll them just all show. The I'll just show all the close-ups up. There we are. Super detailed, fun little pedestal dish. Perfect for like your jewelry or some round soap. <laughs> Please don't yawn. Kai says it's 11 in Ohio. That is getting late. All right, I'll show this too. Are That's we gonna get a cute paint job? This is getting painted. Mm -hmm. Typically, the country hearts they gotta go. 
They were cute in the 80s, but they've done their time. So we're going to paint them and probably put one of our new stencils on them that we just had from the release These last week. These are easy week. to paint too. They it's they paint up quick. They, yeah, usually one coat because it's typically raw wood on little little totes like this. It'll be twelve ninety five. Yeah, I think done. the cottage colors gray skies with a white um, linen stencil. I'm on gonna that I'm gonna good. show some stuff quick and then maybe we'll get to doing some painting. Yeah, well it's nine oh two, so yeah, we got time. All right, I could not pass this up. It's like a copper brass wire situation i'm not sure if it's actual copper or if it's sprayed on copper but come we're gonna it's include sprayed. the two fake eggs but we had one like this for a long time from potter that Dark. was bigger that we it's kept our eggs that in. size i think it was bigger no but maybe anyways this one comes with fake eggs but it was 5.99 we're selling it for 14.95 and it's just it's just good also this um, is uh, like a chicken wire basket Sorry, hold on. Sorry to interrupt. Michelle, yeah, we do ahead. combine shipping. You can just order it and then email info at jamierayvintage.com with your order numbers and Caitlin will combine the shipping for you. I love like, it's almost like chain mail. It's like braided something. Zeb had to have it. So this is if you have the lots of chickens basket, <laughs> which we're going to have in a few months. We're going to have a basket full of eggs. Probably about September, those girls will be laying about an egg, an egg a day because those Americanas, they're their workhorse layers they just are automatic even through the winter yeah when we had americanas last time we had five birds and we never ran out of eggs <laughs> it says that's to boil the eggs and then lift out of a pot oh i never thought about that nice um Kim says she's admiring counter. my jam pot in the back well it's, yeah if you guys lived, see the post, it has lived there since she got it she's like i'm just gonna leave it on the stove that's pretty <laughs> all right i love this tin that zeb's gonna show you guys I'll, and if you, I'll tell you about the jam pot too in a little bit um, in case you, some people know because I posted about it, but yeah, this, this is a decoupage seven, tin, I think is it's like a paper that's put on it. Yeah. 75 cents that's at the DI. It's such a good deal. It's so like romantic cottage. I love it. It's not like super crisp. It's almost like it's, yeah, it's like a watercolor. Veronica got 22 eggs today. What? Nice. How much is that one? $9.95 for the little tin. Yeah. Oh, super chat. She said, the new paint cans arrived today. I'm excited to paint two kitchen chairs with the white linen. Just waiting for the brush I ordered from you a few days ago. I love it, Sally. You'll like the paint. Let, us, how you, let us know how you like that paint. We've been loving it. All right. I'm going to peel this off so you guys can actually see Kathy it. Kathy says 80s hearts, geese, and grapes. I actually do have some grapes, which you guys know I'm not normally a grape fan, but I'll tell you why I bought this one. So this little jar, perfect for like your cotton mm, balls. That's the or, cutest little thing with 75 cents. Like paper clips or something fun in there. Little um, It's an Avon jar too. That's even better. Yeah, it says Avon on the bottom. So it was 75 cents. We're selling it for $6.95. Isn't that Ooh, cute? Um, and it's a nice thick glass. There we go. Did you Sorry, tell them how guys. thick the glass was? Yeah, on it's the, very yeah. thick. It's at least quarter inch and small. Look Which is pretty thick for how small the overall jar is. All right, so I don't normally buy grapes, but the patina on this, and this is the good kind, not the cheap, it's crappy a, copper that's tin. sprayed on. It's actual copper and, and tin. It's really heavy. It's heavy gauge. with a brass um, handle on top. It's a good one. I paid $4.99 for it, and I... The grapes are on there, but they're not tacky. I don't know. I just liked it. I like the fluted side. I like the copper patina. And Deb, we didn't talk about how much I sell for. Oh, sorry. Deb's yawning. It was four ninety nine. I I worked like all day. I worked too. <laughs> I took your kids to the amusement That's park. That's more work than I did. <laughs> um, it's selling for nineteen ninety five on the copper. All right, here's we're down to three items. Three items. Then we can actually. Why don't I show them this? Because those don't necessarily have to be close up. See, what did Rosie get? This is an awesome little tray. Is Rex outside or did you put Cody back Rex out is there? outside. It was $3.99. It says Hirsch on the bottom. Someone's, someone put their name in there. But just great. I, I like the glazing on there. It's just fun. That's like your bonus soap dish. You get two soaps. Kai says that's a nice looking grace. How much is that one? Oh, Rex is letting himself in. Oh, good job, Rex. Smart dog. Got to watch that. I'm going to have to lock that door. <laughs> um, how much was that dish? The It's like a peachy orange. It was, like was really $3.99. We're selling it for $16.95. It's like a really good, it's peach-ish. I don't know. I'm going to go grab a drop cloth if you want to show them those last okay, two. I'll show you guys the last two. So this was um, $1.50 and I'm selling it for $9.95. It fits half pint jars in it. 
I tried to find some to put in here and then I would have probably charged like $14.95, but I couldn't. So it's only $9.95 and you can put your own half pints in there, maybe a couple of jams and then you could set it out with your breakfast or your high tea. Um, and then this was a really good deal. This was $4.99. It's a good heavy um, tarnished. It looks like silver plate to me. And I love the scalloped design on it. And I'm selling it for $19.95. But sometimes when you find these, they're like not very heavy. And this is just a really good weight, which is why I picked it up. But I thought that was super cute. Zep's going to go grab the drop cloth and we are going to get to painting. That was a lot of little stuff. Okay, so here's the story about this. Zeb and I went to the food nanny and we bought a cookbook and some flour. Yeah, and if you don't follow the food nanny on Instagram, you should. And she has these French jam pots. I'll look that up. And they're like $150, I think. And I almost bought one, but I thought, no, we're trying to put all the money into the church. I need to be prudent, right? Like I have a million places to spend my money. So I didn't buy one, but secretly I've been wanting one. And this is actually, to me, even cooler, no offense to the food nanny than hers because it's hammered. And they sell these at Williams and Sonoma for like $350, like $350. Anyways, um, I was at the thrift store and I wanted for Mother's Day. We didn't want to buy it. And then I was at the thrift store this last week. And under the glass was this copper French jam pot for $30. It's a heavy gauge copper. Some people were like, oh, it's not. You have to have it tinned. You can cook in copper. We drink in copper all the time. If it does have aluminum or tin in it and it's chipping off, then you have to have it retinned because you don't want the tin in your food. But solid copper that's heavy gauge like this, you can cook in. So I'm here's, super excited. Here's the thing about like. So the, grab them one of my pots from France that we've been meaning to have tinned, but so haven't. So these do them need retinned. So we'll show you the difference. This is a little impromptu lesson on copper. Um, I so, bought these in France. There's a story with them too, but um, they're, that one actually is solid copper, so we could use that. But the tin is coming off on the inside. You can't cook when the tin's coming off because that will get in your food and it is toxic. So that's the difference. Like this is just copper. Boy, that one's in there. These have been smashed. I'm going to get it. Well, this one is just copper. So, so just, I guess just so you know. This one I could cook in. I've done extensive research on it and I feel confident in telling you like this patina on the outside from the copper oxidizing is inert. It's not going to hurt you if it's on your dishes. You'll be okay. I don't recommend eating a ton of anything metal, but you know. Yeah, we have some patina on our copper drink and copper in itself, like in uh, third world countries, they put their water in it to help purify it. But yeah, I didn't know. Some of these are solid copper, not tint. Yeah, so. They all have very similar handles. We should really get these out and like hang them somewhere. Yeah, they're really cute. Well, of... the thing is when I ordered this oven, I didn't realize it had the back on it like that. So you can hang them. But I might be getting a different oven in the next couple of years because I cook for so many people. It's just really not big enough. Because you put a few pots on here and you run out of room. All right, let's get to painting. Now All right, I got you this. some. There's some DIY paint. I'm grabbing some colors. How can I tell colors. it's a jam pot? Um, it just looks like the jam pots. Like if you Google French jam pot, it'll pop up. They're gonna look just like that. It could, you don't, you could cook anything in it. It's just, um, it conducts. It's heavy gauge and it conducts the heat really well, which is good for when you're cooking jam. And so that's just what they were made for. But like I said, you could use. It's it a lot like cast iron. It's real even heat. Yeah. Um, if you follow the food nanny, she cooks lots of things in her French jam pot. So I, I, I got to wash this one out. It didn't get rinsed all the way. It's oh. a little stiff. So well, know that with your new cottage yeah. colors, keep your brush either moist and in a baggie. If you're using it stone, you don't want to wash out or wash it out really well. This cling on, you know, they, they, they are really usually pretty soft. You can see the dust. I'm having to like break. It, did, it didn't get rinsed out good. It got washed, but didn't get rinsed out good. And with the built-in top coat on these cottage colors, it does stiffen up your brushes. So just know that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started painting this gray sky. This is the new Jamie Ray Vintage DIY cottage color. It's made by DIY. We've had a few people ask. They were confused um, because they thought we were making it. And while I, making paint would be fun, ain't nobody got time for that. We got a lot of things going on. So... This is made by the same manufacturer as DIY Paint. They've been making paint for, I don't even know, gosh, a billion years. 
So I just let the professionals so, do it. So the warehouse that Debbie uses has been making paint for about 40, she said. So they've, okay. they've been doing it since probably the early 80s, late 70s. 40 is exactly wrap your head 1982 because that's when I was born. Wrap your head around that <laughs> 40 years ago. Was it the 80s? <laughs> I wrap my head around it because I'm turning 40 this year. Here. So I'm just going to paint this with gray skies and then we can get started um, stenciling what the outside. I paint? I'm going to paint my. You can make sea salt caramel in that pot. It is excellent for candy. I love, like, that's why I can't ever stay off sugar for an extended period of time because the caramels, the butterscotches, um, the toffees, they get me every time. Chocolate's okay. You know, I know there's some people that are like raving about chocolate every day out there. It's all right. Wrapped around my toffee. <laughs> As a vessel. <laughs> I will paint this eventually. I'm just not going to paint the bottom tonight. So don't worry less. It'll happen but I just want to get paint on here so we can stencil it. The nice thing with this new paint, especially when you're painting like little small flips like this, you can be done fairly quickly and ready to go. You know, that's why I titled this video. Oh, you know what? We didn't show them oh, this big old huge you. thing. thank you. Sorry, Leslie gave us a super chat. She said, I got my cottage colors to um, HVAC fund. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully we're, it did, they're coming next this next week, I think Mike said. Yeah, well, they've already done a bunch of work. Yeah. They had a ton of clean out in the crawl space because there'd been 130 years of duct work and dust and dirt and whatever falls down through a floor underneath in the crawl space. And they literally spent probably two or three days. That's all they were doing. Feel free to shop as we will have a $25,000 HVC bill coming so share this video with all your friends we paid half up front that's half of half of it when they get done we got to pay the other half if you guys want to get cottage color or any of the items you saw it's jamierayvintage.com um it is showing as pre-order but i have it on good authority that it will be to us by the end of next week or the beginning of the follow our reshipment because we sold out of our first launch and then we'll ship it right out Did which we, we estimated use... end of may and it will definitely be by the end of May, if not before, if you are ordering from the pre-order from our second round. I'm guessing we used up everything we had of the vintage pink. Yes, we did. We have no vintage pink. I don't have when we did that piece yesterday, because I don't I don't have an open jar of You know what we had a little like teeny tiny bit. Where where did the jar go? I don't know. It's fine. Oh, it might be in there. I'll use it as an accent. I've got the haint blue going on here. Let's see. If we purchase something, can we request the paint color? Kelly, yes and no. Because if like, if we don't get the information and somehow we've already started paying, it makes it difficult. So it's hard. We try, Let's some, put it that some, way. especially in the live stream. If we're going to paint this like right off the bat, yeah, then, then it's really difficult. If it's like, if you email Caitlin and we haven't painted it yet, then we we're happy to oblige. Typically, we're not going to go crazy with paint finishes yeah. on some things, but some things we are. Diane, I will definitely pray for your brother. Her brother had a stroke. That's so difficult. Oh, there are That's miraculous hard. things, though, that I have seen happen. People with strokes. Let's see. Um, Sherry says caramel is my favorite sweet. Do you like turtle candies? I do like turtle candies. Do we have a heat gun out? Um, negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> negative Ghost Rider. Did you know there's a new Top Gun coming out? Uh-huh. I think it's, is it out? It might be out. <laughs> I'm trying not to touch this. I'm crossing no, my fingers up. for Obi-Wan. It's coming in like a week and a half. Oh, really? The Obi-Wan series. Oh, on? Uh, on Disney. On TV? Yeah. It's going to be a six episodes mini series. All right. If you wouldn't mind, Obi -Wan's. I'll, I'll keep painting this for you, if, for you if you would grab me a stencil for this. Obi-Wan's my favorite Jedi. Obi-Wan? Yep. He's your only hope. Would you grab me a stencil for that too? Yes. And I'll just keep painting this for you. Okay. What stencil do you want? Um, just something of the new stencils that came in that would fit in that spot. Where did you put them all? Are they in this basket? They're in the, are they in the basket? Are I don't know. Either that or they're in the cabinet. Nope. Those are not new. Was it just even... one? Yes, we just used one jar of vintage pink. There was a little bit left over, and we did not have like perfect coverage. 
um, but we were distressing it, so we were fine with it. If you wanted perfect coverage, you might have to do a little bit more touch up. It would have, for perfect coverage, it would use like exactly one pint for sure. But I don't like to have perfect coverage because I'm going to be distressing it off. So I kind of distress in the areas where maybe it was a little. So we have gotten some reports back. You can wet distress if it's pretty fresh. Yeah, if it's pretty fresh, somebody was using um, Clorox wipes and they were able to wet distress with this. Holly said she just watched um, the old Top Gun tonight and it was still good. Nice. I like it. I, Zeb and I haven't gone to a movie in forever, but mostly because some of the movies are like, no, I... no judgment passed, right? Watch whatever you want to watch. But some of them are just kind of junky and they have stuff on them that we don't want to hear or see. And they're just, I feel like I they're getting worse. I have a really hard time when they start taking the Lord's name in vain, like over and over and over. Yeah. And I just don't, we don't I just don't want to like pay to go sit in a theater and I get my popcorn and my drink and then I'm like walking out. Yeah. So, so some things I just wait and watch them at home. Why can't they just make a funny movie that's not dirty? That, that's my only request. Um, so I'm going to give you this cold cream and roses. This It'll has got a lot of detail. Ends. Do you want me to stencil that? I'll, um, I'll heat gun and stencil I'll it. Keep... You keep painting. I can sense you that bought... you want to you really paint my thing that I bought that's really detailed. Yes, this is the, <laughs> this is the joy of my life. I can't believe this. how fast you whipped that gray paint on there, though. It was super raw, so the coverage is amazing. There's a little bit of coming, you know, areas, but like when something is raw like this, the paint just covers really evenly. We'll have to paint the bottom. We'll probably will do that off camera because it won't be dry enough to flip around and handle and stencil. I actually said that. Did you already? Yeah, I, I told must not Les, have been sorry, listening while I was looking. Because Les doesn't like it. Oh, Holly bought the metal heart decoupage tin. Metal heart decoupage tin is cool. What color does that paint? This is paint blue. It might look white, but it's like a really soft blue color. You got a little bit of uh, your heart yeah. design peeking through it needs here. To, it needs a second. Uh, the heart area needs a second coat. Yep. Um, can you hold on? Somebody had a question, and I hope we don't mess up. Oops. Do do do. Just don't hit those side buttons. You'll be okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Can you show me the tiny jar with IOD mold you have? I want to see the actual size. So the tiny, oh, um, so the, the jars we have, like the brown jars, Michelle, we don't have those here. Those are at the shop. Those were from a thrift haul a, a little bit back. Yeah, we don't have so them they, with us. So they're Sorry. already at the shop. We could probably. They're about this big. The little cheese crocs, the brown ones, like. That's about right. I would say best scenario. Put if you your want hand up next to my fingers so she can see for a size reference. About two thirds of Zeb's hand. That's how big the Crocs are. Yeah, they're probably <laughs> about four to five inches. Uh, palm of my hand, right around in there. But if you really need like exact measurements, you can always email customer care, and then she'll Caitlin will send a text over to the shop and then gals will see it over there and they'll get dimensions for her and she'll send it back to you. Seems like a roundabout way to do it, but they're pretty good at it. Andrea, your DIY retailer should have the cottage colors if they order I them. don't think it was required that they had to get so, the first wave or even carry if it. they so. aren't going to carry it, then you can order direct from us, um, but check with them first and let them know you'd like the cottage colors because we definitely would love it if all the retailers carried them, but DIY doesn't require that they carry everything because they do have a lot of products. All right, just heat gun in that so I can get this whoop, dry and show you Don't guys. mind me over here. I'm just painting all the ruffles in this little girl's skirt. The good news is we're getting really good coverage, so I'm happy about that. I think I'm just going to go with white linen on Zeb this. has something sticking up out of his hat. It's That's my mic. his microphone my mic so you can hear me good i would wear it on my shirt but it gets all flopping with my teeth because i don't wear a collared shirt and it usually scratches on my neck and makes scratchy noises yeah. so well, I, just I always hang it on the hat well, i always have a sweater I'm because it's a good it. place for my mic all right i'm gonna try to get down in here 
Don't mind me. Sorry, little girls. All right, this is the half inch JRV stencil brush. You can also pick it up as long, along with the paints and the stencil and all the goodness at jamieravintage.com. Just saying. Paint the coffee pot pink and do the splatter in gray. Oh, that would be cute. All right, so this I'll bring this up close so you guys can see it, but it's a round stencil that I've kind of positioned to work with the shape of the end of this tote. I'm going to have to look up pink enamel and get inspiration before I do that. A little bit off center. There we go. We're going to go with that. I'm just kind of stomping this paint in here because there's so many crevices. With this... Uh, with the cottage colors, if you've been used to stenciling with the DIY paint, it is not as thick. You've got as the to DIY offload paint. like a crazy person. The self leveler and the uh, the built in sealer did not allow for that thick, thick formula. Or does so, it have clay? Yeah. So offload, offload, offload when you're stenciling, and you'll be happy with the results. Is a new paint resin based? Um, it is mineral based, so it has silicate, uh, acrylate, polymer, waxes, chalk, titanium dioxide, um, and water. So not a lot of ingredients. It's anti-static, breathable, long-lasting paint. Apply two coats for best coverage. Or if you're painting white over dark or light pink over dark, then maybe three or four. The nice thing is, though, like even if you have to do an extra coat of paint, it's fine because it has a built-in sealer. So really, you're not doing more coats. The thing overall. I really love about it is when we're doing like these metal pieces that we've been painting and testing out, it just gets so smooth. It doesn't like the brush strokes just melt away. Follow up on the chairs that we painted. Um, if water puddles on it, especially when it's fresh, especially if it's I mean, on a it rusty. Like we put them out there one and day the next later, night it rained. We had an epic rainstorm and water was just sitting on there and it did not do well on the seat. But the back is fine. The arms are fine. The coffee table is fine. We painted like this old milk can and it was fine. But you don't want anywhere where water is going to puddle. I would do some really good prep. Maybe remove the rust, which we didn't. And maybe put some <laughs> big top on it because it did not do well or don't put it outside till yeah, it's here's cured the too. thing most most paints take 30 days i would say to cure all like we gave it 12 cured. hours i would say that that adage holds true with this paint so just know that if you're expecting it to be like rock solid and bulletproof a day later it's it can't do it Oh, we got another new channel member, Linda. Be sure to check out the community tab. Scroll back. Now that you're a channel member, you'll see channel member only posts that not everybody can see. And you will have printables. <clears throat> and not this Tuesday, but the next Tuesday, 10 a.m., we will have our next live video for channel members. Look at how cool the labeling is oh, on the cute. end of that tote. I just did the round. These are from our new roses. Um, advertising stencils that we just came out with at jamierevintage.com or you can pick up from your jrv stencil retailer that's cute i'm excited to and we have those. a lot of uh retailers that carry our brushes and stencils as well yeah the girl is hang blue and the tote is gray skies sorry i'm trying to make sure all the crevices are done i guess i can always come back but i don't like to do that what are you going to do? Are you going to like wax this or maybe how, what, how are you going to finish this? I don't need to seal it. Oh, you're just going to, I'm going to hit the, like, I'm going to hit. So I think I'm going to, I wish we had some pink. I was going to do the pink on the like little ruffles, maybe in the flowers in their hair and the bows. Well, once it's dry, we'll see if we can just wet distress it. Cause I've heard that you can't, even though this has a built-in sealer, if you try to wet distress before it's set up and cured, you can. Well, you did it when it was like wet the other yeah. day. Yeah. So we'll, <laughs> I want to bring back some of the detail through distressing. So we'll try that and then we'll paint the little bow. It does need something dark. So to, Caitlin, to bring out the detail. Caitlin just dropped the link to the stencils. They're advertising label minis. Um, they were inspired by our recent trip to the good old England because we, we bought a bunch of advertising pots. All right, I think I got most everything. I might have to second coat this, so this is really cute. I'm trying the swirl on this side. The nice thing about these stencils that we're really proud of 
is that they're 15 mil, meaning yeah. they're really thick and they hold up really well, even with all the little cutouts and things and the, the details on them. 